life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. What up, doe baby girl? 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 So today is Friday. Welcome to Friday. And later on today, I'm supposed to go with my friend Trakia. Her church is having like a worship event. The only thing about worship events are that I like to know the words to the songs. So. If it's like a gospel, or I'm like this just with regular music as well. So, if it's like a gospel artist that's performing their song, I can't really get into the worship because I want to worship. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if this is a worship service, I should know the songs and I should be able to put my hands up and sing along. But I'm also, I don't know. So I was like, okay, I told her I was gonna go. But then I'm trying to really go on my gut and figure out if I really want to go. But and Keisha is having like a mini little cookout at her house that she invited me to the day of Keisha. And I'm like, dang, I was supposed to go to my friend thing <laughs> at her church. And I keep my word. So I am going to go to her thing at her church. And then I'm probably going to stop by Keisha house afterwards. It depends on what time that thing in and the people are still over there. Then I'll probably go over there for a little while. Yeah, I probably will go over there. Today is so like ugh outside, y'all. It's so ugly. I don't know what's going on. It's no sun out. It's not supposed to rain. I think it's just very cloudy today. Y'all, I watched How to Get Away with Murder yesterday. If y'all watch How to Get Away with Murder, follow me on Instagram because I talk about it on my on my uh snap. Not on my snap, on my Insta story. So I talked about it yesterday on my Insta story. That's just easier for me. I like watching How to Get Away with Murder because that shit is just so good. That's one of my favorite shows. When I tell y'all I'm so damn irritated, it took everything in me not to turn my ass around. This shit was like, okay, it's church, so I can't say shit. But this is like 50 minutes from my house, y'all. Like, literally 50 minutes. Literally traffic, literally all that. Like, and girl, I was about to be like, never mind, I'm going to go to Keisha's house. Never mind. But I was already halfway here. Every time I kept looking at my um, every time I kept looking at my GPS, it would say like 20 minutes. Like it's, it felt like it kept on saying 20 minutes. Like it never changed. Let me change my shoes. Hold on, y'all. I really need to get my attitude together because I'm really mad. <laughs> I'm like, I texted my friend like, girl, this shit, this is far away from my house. She's like, oh, it's um. I forgot you stay far. Mind you, she li works literally like 15 minutes from me. If she stay all the way out here, this is just too far, bro. Too far. Like, seriously. This is like Decatur. I stay 15 minutes from Decatur. Like, I'm so hot right now. <laughs> now, I'm about to start checking people's addresses. I don't drive no... I used to drive hour to places. It had to be somewhere that I really, 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 really want to go. Like, really want to go. But, oh, I'm so annoyed. All right, let me text her. And yeah. Fun the little church event. <laughs> I texted Keisha to see where she was at. I mean, if she, if her little thing's still going on in her house, but she didn't text me back, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. What you gonna eat? Church was fun. It was fun. It was good. It was good. I drove 50 hours, but I mean, <laughs> I drove three hours. <laughs> drove three hours to get here. But, uh, it was nice. Girl, I'm like, what is this? I feel like I've been out here before. Why is it 50 minutes? Girl. It's saying 50 minutes. I'm like, uh-uh, I'm tricky. She said, oh, yeah, I fucked it. It was. It was worth it. It was worth it. I'd be like, I'm going to charge. That's like, that's like six hours. Okay. Okay, on my way, on my way. It feels good out here. I was just about to say 
All right, y'all, so I just made it to Keisha house. I had to park on the street, which I hope that nobody tried to mess up my car. I always get scared because I parked my car one time by somebody's house and my window was busted when I came back outside. So I'm like, please don't let nobody try to mess up my car. Let me make sure I locked my door. I think I did though. <laughs> that little, I know I was complaining about, my hair look crazy because I took those two puffs out. I feel like I look, I felt like I looked like a two year old. So yeah, but um, although that praise and worship thing was 50 minutes from my house, I really enjoyed myself. Like it was really, really, really good. Really good. And it was just worshiping. Like it wasn't, it wasn't anything out the way. It wasn't like really preaching like that. It was just, yeah, I really liked it. I really did. Oh. And guess what y'all, I've been working out. I worked out three days in a row, four days, well four days in a row. So I'm proud of myself. I'm going to work out in the morning too. Working out just sets the tone for your day. It makes you feel so much better. Hold on, I forgot the dang on. Y'all look at little Perry. Oh girl. Oh, oh yeah, Perry. This in a day's like. <laughs> I am trying to say my man. Like <coughs> <coughs> oh, she got me choking. You gotta start like you mean it. Breathe in something. She Why girl. you really sound like a she singer? Girl. She girl. You gotta start like you mean it. <laughs> yeah. I used to love the Cheetah Girls. Come on, get up. <laughs> Why I don't remember this Cheetah Girls song? That was in like the off brand Cheetah Girls movie. That was like the third oh, yeah. one. <laughs> I went to see the Cheetah Girls. So She's in the concert. Awesome. They go Keisha Keish. Hey. Hey guys. Y'all. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Guess what today is my favorite day of the week, which is Sunday. So I'm about to get some coffee and then I'm going to church. And I'm supposed to go work out tomorrow. Well later on at three o'clock. With my with your kid's sister. So I'm nervous about working out. I'm just like, what the heck? Hey, I was listening to this Starbucks interview and um and his name Howard Schultz, the one that started Starbucks. I think it is. He said that um when he first started working at Starbucks, they just sold like the bean coffee and you had to buy it. And you had to buy it and make it at home. It wasn't like Oh, you can go in there and get a cup of coffee. You gotta listen to this interview. I watch. I listen to this um, podcast by NPR. It's called um, How I Built This, and I love this podcast, y'all. Like it is everything. They interview so many different entrepreneurs, and it just tells how they built what they have. So yeah, it's really cool. But I was listening to his the other day, and yeah, I'm so happy that it's Sunday. I start my job on Wednesday, on Wednesday, on Wednesday, on Wednesday. I wasn't really excited. I'm so indecisive. I wasn't excited at first. First I was excited and I really wasn't. Now I'm excited again. I'm just happy to, to you know, actually <clears throat> work in makeup. I'm excited to see where this is gonna take me. So yeah, it's exciting nonetheless. <clears throat> Today, I'm literally going to edit. I don't know y'all. If y'all watch my Makeup Monday videos, I always talk about a different topic, but I don't know if I want to continue to talk. I think I may just want to do the look. Cause I don't really, I don't know. I feel like I'll talk sometime and then I'll just do the look sometimes, maybe. I had to figure out. Yeah, I know I'm so all over the place. Everything with everything. Oh, well, I was out back there, but I guess it just went away. I don't know. But I still have like, by the time I get home, it's probably gonna be one o'clock. And I think I'm gonna leave out like 2.30, no, probably like 2.15 to get to the class about three o'clock. Maybe that's a good look. Cause I don't wanna be late. I think it's like 30 minutes from my house. Which I feel like everything is 30 minutes from my house, which is annoying. Church was really good. My car smells like food, but there's no food in here. I don't get it. Church was really good. It was basically about my pastor was talking about a tab the tabernacle um, from like in the Bible, 
and we discussed it like two Sundays ago and then today he discussed he just talked about the process to get into the holy of holies and getting to God um, first there has to be a sacrifice that's the first thing so first it has to be a sacrifice secondly it has to be um, you have to wash yourself um, you have to come to God clean um, and your sins and everything else and it was basically saying basically just to sum it all up it's basically just to sum it all up he basically was saying that you cannot think that you're going to praise god or be with god if you still have a, a worldly mindset it's say it's stages you have to sacrifice something you can't be you and still think oh i'm saved or i'm doing this i'm doing that when well, you have not sacrificed anything you haven't sacrificed anything your mind should have changed in the process of you getting to the holy of holies if your mindset has not changed then that's the that's where it starts right there you want to keep doing what you want to do you want to keep being of this world and no ma'am that's not gonna work <laughs> It's not going to work. So he's saying that you praying and you praising, but the aroma is not sweet to God because you're still of this world. You want to hold on to the world and give God a little bit. You want to, oh, I give God a little bit. I'm going to give him a little bit, but I can't, I can't do that. I can't, I can't give up the whole world. I can't, I can't give up. I can't give up the club on Saturday, but I'm a. I'm going to come to church on Sunday and I'm going I'm to still just go ahead and give God a little bit of my time. No, ma'am. That ain't how it work. It was real good. I'm going to put the link down below so y'all can watch it. It was really good. I'm going to put the link for the first one so you can kind of understand what's going on and then the second one because you have to watch the first one to kind of get it. All right. So I'm about to make my way home. I'm trying to think, should I eat before I go work out? I kind of wanted to keep my hair twisted, but I was like, Alexis, you need to take your hair out. It make you feel so good when your hair is like like when you feel like you look cute you know compared to when you don't i don't feel like my car i'm gonna say well i feel like my car going forward now i don't want to hold on let me get out this y'all couldn't see me i'm hungry but i don't want to eat i think i'm gonna eat an apple on my way there and i'm probably gonna eat after i work out that's just gonna be the best bet for me i'm about to go to the beauty supply because my eyebrows look like hot death i tried to fill them in but yeah they need to be waxed i mean arched so I need to get a razor, and I think I need to get something else out of here, too. Hold on. Look at this, y'all. Why is it pussy tight? <laughs> at the beauty supply, though. <laughs> Have y'all tried that? Um, it's like a, feet, a foot mask that makes your feet peel to get the dead skin off. This girl I saw on my Snapchat tried it. She got hers from, she said, Walmart from this, this company called Baby Feet. But I just saw one in the beauty supply, and I'm like, do this thing really work? Because I want to try it. <clears throat> but I'm trying to figure out when did LA Pro Conceal become $4.99? Because who paying $5 for that, and it used to be $2? I think it was like $2 or like one something. It was definitely $2. Now it's $5. Like, yeah, not paying $5. I don't know if it's because of the location I'm in. But five dollars ain't gonna get it for me. That ain't gonna work. Ugh. I'm hungry. I'm hot too. All right, y'all. I'm about to make my way home, and then I'm going to um, boot camp, which I'm nervous about. <laughs> I'm scared she's gonna kill me or something. Girl, I don't be working out like that. Yeah, we about to work out. How you feeling? How you feeling, Katrina? She said she ready. I'm scared. Oh my God. You should have came this morning. You don't like the morning time? I like the morning time. I'm going to say. Okay. Oh, okay.
Y'all, I'm leaving Willie's. I got a salad from Willie's, like a chicken salad. Uh, I am starving. All I ate was a banana all day. They give you like a Herbalife replacement shake when you go to the Fit Camp. But that workout was hard. But I did get on the scale and I lost three pounds. So I've been doing this special type of diet. I'll explain it to y'all later on if it really works. But I did lose three pounds. I normally don't get on the trip on the um on the scale because I just can tell the difference in my body and I don't want to be caught up on numbers. So I can already tell. As soon as I start working out anyway, I lose I lose a lot of water like retention that i have or like bloating in my stomach because my stomach be bloated like heck like i'll be looking like i'm 93 months pregnant all right y'all so i will talk to y'all later thank y'all so much for watching my channel and supporting me and i love y'all so much y'all are absolutely amazing tell my tell your friends about my video so they can subscribe to my channel we're almost at 5,000 subscribers i'm at 4 4900 i believe it's like 49 yeah, I hit 4,900. I'm, I'm probably over 4,900 now. But I hit 4,900 the other day. So, we're almost at 5,000. So, I am so ecstatic. And so happy, so happy, so happy. Alright, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, guys.